I have so many mixed emotions about what just happened. I had my fun, and I was having a good time. Around the five to six hundred dollar price point. Today is such a weird day because it is so blustery and cold outside. We need to get a move on though and head out to the thrift store because it's kind of late in the day. It's like already noon. Um, but we were out late last night at Animal Kingdom and that was a lot of fun. That was the footage that you guys just saw. I had my fun, now it's time to get to work, see what we can find for the day. I'm kind of in the mood for some really funky clothing. I feel like I've been playing it really safe lately with a lot of the thrift finds that I've been picking up and I just want some like funky fresh vintage. So that's what we're gonna be on the hunt for. Also today I tried the clean girl bun and I feel like probably because of my roots, I think it just gives me a grease ball look instead. So not really clean girl aesthetic, but I tried, I tried, I really did. I desperately need to get my hair done. In my last video, you guys were so kind with some of the comments talking about my age, not realizing that I'm in my late thirties. But man, whenever I'm editing my videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have 20 bajillion gray hairs just peeking out, just saying, hey, what's up? I feel like the move out here produced so many gray hairs. I did not think that it was gonna go that fast, but it was like one day I woke up and it was just patches of gray, so. It's here, I'm okay with it. The aging process does not scare me. Um, it just more so is something to like, I guess get used to and transition into. I desperately need to get my hair done. I'm really nervous though to just like pick a random hairdresser because when I moved to Vegas, I had a really bad experience with that where I just like kind of did like a random hairdresser thing and the first time I got my hair done out there, my hair just looked like I walked straight out of the Y2K era, like just patches of blonde. And I'm more of like the balayage style. So if anybody in the greater Orlando area, uh, preferably like Kissimmee celebration gets their hair done, please let me know because I am so desperate for a good hairdresser out here. So yeah. <laughs> hit me up, send me a DM, whatever. Let's chit chat. I need to get my hair done. That being said though, uh, let's, let's head out to the thrift store. I'm sorry, but this is why I love Florida. I get outside and it is so not blustery cold. It's windy, but it's like 75. So like, just give me some grace. I eventually will get used to this, but for right now, I just like have no concept of weather. None whatsoever. So much for having fun with the stuff that I'm picking up. I feel like I just am in this like feedback loop of just minimal modern stuff. But I couldn't help it. I saw the Zara dress. It's like a linen blend probably. And I love that it's gonna just drape. Like it gives me very log and look kind of style, but just very relaxed casual. And then I also found it in a beige tone. I don't know what is going on. Someone's commented already that my style is changing and yeah, I can I can tell. I can see it. It's it's weird. It's strange. I don't know what's happening. I feel 
feel like this is a good one. Someone always needs a good fair aisle mitt and it's 100% wool. We love that. I have so many mixed emotions about what just happened. But wait till you guys see this. What? What? And I don't know if they didn't realize that like Saint Laurent, they dropped the Eve Saint Laurent like years ago. So it's just Saint Laurent now. But oh my gosh. Wow. And the best part is they're the like super, super tiny diaper shorts that I was talking about. So I know somebody's gonna love these, but what? That is just wild. I'll have to look it up, but I'm not sure if they went back. But I remember like, I don't know, maybe 2015, they dropped the Eve and like people were just so confused. So I don't know, I, like I'm gonna have to definitely do more research on that. So that could be from, that time period and maybe they picked that back up i need to i need to do my homework also sorry to anybody that i just grossed out by touching my face at a thrift store i even grossed myself out so my apologies so i just did some research on the brand and it turns out that it was in 2012 that they dropped the eeps so there's that Learned my, learned my history. It's also just for reference, it's still that way. So it's still Saint Laurent. And then on like some of the cosmetics, some of the handbags, they still rock, rock the uh, YSL. Who made this? My Buffy the Vampire Slayer heart is crying right now. If only it was Angel, then I would probably get it. You guys know how I feel about puffy bags. But it's not puffy enough. It needs to be puffier. I especially love this location for their belts. It's kind of funny how each location has its own like really good thing. Here, it's belts. I think I'm definitely gonna get this one. Love the metal on this one, but I think the leather's a little bit too damaged. I really can't decide if I want to get this. It's got just enough staining on it to make me feel like I should pass, but oh, it's so good. I don't know, I think I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while. Pretty slim pickings today, but I did find this. I think it's a hand knit. I just really liked the colors on it. It's a good chunky sweater, so definitely picking this one up. And then I also found a Lululemon scarf, so that's a pretty good pickup too. friends it is so dark and gloomy outside I have no light so I'm a little nervous to do this haul uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out but I definitely want to show you guys everything that I picked up I was doing some research on those Saint Laurent shorts I cannot believe this 
They originally were priced at $2,400. Resale value on them look to be around the five to $600 price point. I am so unbelievably excited about those. Uh, what an insane find. Uh, let's get into this haul. Let's talk about some of the cool clothes that I picked up. First up is this beautiful knit. I seriously think this is a handmade piece. It doesn't have any care tags or anything like that attached to it. There's no brand. So I get the feeling that this is just an adorable homemade piece that I could not pass up on trying to rehome. This is a fairy tale princess dress. You romanticized your life in this dress. This is why vintage is always a good idea because these silhouettes are in style right now and it just, everything comes back around. I think this one is by far my favorite personal pickup. This is going in my personal wardrobe because one, it's great quality, it's linen. It's Zara, shockingly enough, but I just think it's one of those comfy casual pieces and I think going back to the idea that my wardrobe is kind of changing and evolving, or I should say my style is changing and evolving, I think I am just reaching so much more and more for quality clothes. Uh, I just only want to add those type of pieces into my personal wardrobe. I think there's a time for pieces like polyester and acrylic. You know, there's some styles that I absolutely covet. Like my absolute favorite cardigan is this acrylic side effects sweater. My mom was actually just talking about this the other day. She's like, you haven't been picking up side effects that much anymore. And to be completely honest with you, I haven't found very much of these cardigans out here, which I find that fascinating. So I don't know if this was just like a huge West Coast brand. But anyways, my point is, is like acrylic isn't a one size fits all kind of thing. I mean, I think we're kind of demonizing acrylic lately but I do think there's a time and a place for it, if that makes sense. This is a good quality cardigan. It's lasted me years in my personal wardrobe, but it's from the 1980s. I guess my point is I'm not completely giving up on acrylic and polyester. You guys know how I feel about pointed collar, polyester button downs. I love those two for my wardrobe, but I just think something like 100% linen or 100% cotton is so important out here and the type of climate that I now live in. One more classic piece I'm excited to get on because you know what's gonna look really good with this one, leather boots. I'm so, I'm so ready for this. I am, I've been dreaming of this look for a hot minute, so let's do it. Dude, who am I? Who have I become? There is just something so classic and timeless about this. I love though that I, I'm in a point in my life where I know I can do both. I can be that like streetwear grunge aesthetic if I want to, or I can be that polished kind of grown up look, you know? I, I feel like I can do both, okay? I can exist in both realms. You guys, I have saved the best for last. Because let me just tell you, when I saw this from across the room, I abandoned my cart and I beelined it to this dress and made sure that I got it. Nobody else saw it, nobody else was going after it, but I needed to make sure that this dress was mine. Uh, there was a small part of me that was like, no way, could this be an Izzy Miyake? It is not an Izzy Miyake. It is a brand that I've never heard of, Scarlet Sage, but they have very interesting dresses. Uh, so I am so excited to put this bad boy on. I, I've been waiting all week for this moment. How does one return to normal dressing from here? Like the way that it moves? This is those art house pieces that you see on runway shows that you just, you think, I'll never get my hands on something like that until you do. Okay, friends, uh, I think that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for having so much fun with me, thrifting, Disney, trying on clothes. I'm living my best life over here. Can I just say that? This is a dream come true right now. So one, I appreciate you guys sticking around through all of this and uh, just hanging out with me today. But for now, if you guys are new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.